So most philosophers will dismiss the idea that consciousness is an illusion. You defend it in your way. I'd like to understand why. I'm not sure that's true that most say that. Um, what I mean by an illusion is the dictionary definition, that it's something that's not what it seems to be. Almost that has to be the case. We wouldn't have this ridiculous hard problem, this mystery, um, if consciousness was what it seems to be. What does it seem to be? I think to many people it seems to be um, something that I experience. It seems to have a streamlike quality of continuity. Mm -hmm. It seems to have unity. Mm -hmm. um, it seems to have powers. People are always talking about consciousness does this and mm -hmm. consciousness does that. I think all those things are not true, and that's the main reason why we're in such a muddle. That's what I mean by saying consciousness is an illusion. Okay, so if those things are not true, what is true? <laughs> well, that's much harder. <laughs> See, I do not claim to have a theory of consciousness. I it's not do a question not of theory, but just explain the, the series of facts that you need to explain. What do you need to explain? That's true. You, you've just given me a litany of list of things that are not true, which you don't have to explain. They're not true, you don't have to explain it, right? All right, now, what do you have to explain? Uh, 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 <laughs> the way this is right now to me. This. It, it seems from most ways we think about it that this experience I'm having is of some different quality from all the stuff we learn about the way the brain works, uh, how right, thing, right, you know, right. what happens to chairs when you hit them, right. um, physical properties, experience seems to be different. That's what, what we're trying to explain. We don't even have a definition. All we do is say what we call it subjectivity. Um, that's as far as we, I, I would go in saying that's what we're trying to explain and I don't understand it. In some way, is this the same as what I call objective. Well, you could say it is because the only way I know anything about the objective world is is, is through interacting with it and, and, and having experiences. Mm -hmm. But then you've got this awful problem that arises that there seem to be conscious things and unconscious things. And then that just means, well, I've put the hard problem onto yeah. some things and not others. <laughs> ah, help, my head hurts. <laughs> right. I, By rejecting the things you do in consciousness, I'd like to go through that list and uh, what, what most people assume. So let, just, just take uh, some examples that consciousness is, is a stream, that it seems a, a, a temporal stream, that there's no individual parts to it and I experience it. You're saying that is an illusion. Yeah, that's how it seems and it isn't really that way in this sense. I want to look at it both from the brain point of view and from the experience point okay. of view and I think that's very helpful to take, take it from both directions. Yeah. So from the brain point of view it is a massive parallel processing system. There's mm. loads and loads of things going on at once and it isn't, doesn't seem to be true to say that there is anything that corresponds to this what I'm looking at now. The visual system is it's got like 40, 45 separate parallel pathways, all <laughs> right, doing different right, jobs, right, right. controlling the arms, controlling the eyes, um, deciding colors, all of that, seeing right. edges, recognizing objects, Faces. and they don't come together to make a picture, which is what I see, which Dennett, of course, would call the show in the Cartesian theater mm -hmm. with the audience of one who, who sees <laughs> it. You know, it isn't like that. It's multiply parallel. What about the audience? Um, it, we feel as though it's me having the stream of experiences. Right, right, right. Well, where is that thing? Look inside the brain. You don't find anywhere for it to be. Uh, you don't find jobs for it to do because mm -hmm. all the jobs are being done by bits of the brain. Mm -hmm. So, so there's something, there's something wrong with that, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Um, then look at it from the experience point of view. I've been meditating every day for, 25 years and even before that going on retreats and so on mm -hmm. um, and I do it. And you're very even tempered because of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum used to say, you know, you do all this meditation and look at you, you're wild and <laughs> noisy. Yeah, wow, what well. would you be without meditation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quite. <laughs> Exploded long ago. <laughs> Um, but that and taking interesting drugs and trying different relaxation techniques, all sorts of ways that I've played with my own experience. Uh, but the meditation in particular and some spontaneous mystical experiences suggest that it's perfectly possible, and there are descriptions of this throughout the history of mystical experiences, to get into something 
called a non-dual state or non-duality, where the differentiation between self and other disappears. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the simplest level, even with not that much meditation, if you ask yourself, who is meditating? Or where am I? It's pretty obvious you don't find yourself. So we go around all day kind of assuming I'm this continuous, persistent, unitary experiencer having a stream of experiences. But whether you look in the brain or whether you look into carefully into your own experience, you don't find either of those things. Mm -hmm. So when you're using the, the, the concept that consciousness is an illusion, you're using some of the almost folk traditions of what consciousness is, the unity, the sense of the, the inner person seeing it. But what you're not saying is you're not rejecting that felt experience. No, no, here it is. And, and, and some people do. So when yes, some people yes. say that consciousness is an illusion, they're saying that experience is some kind of an illusion. So I believe you're being misclassified. Because you, you, you're using consciousness as illusion in a very different sense, yeah, but I you know. are, you are in fact, you are in fact highlighting the really serious problem because you're, you're clearing away all the detritus. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I would love to be doing that. I hope I am doing that. But I'm not sure everyone sees it that way. That's what I would like to be doing in the hope that clearing away what I call illusions, things that are not what they seem to be, we'll start to see more clearly.